welcome back to Smashing Heads Podcast. My name is Zach. I'm joined, as always, by my wife, Hannah. Hey, hey, hey. This is going to be our recap. Rowdy, Rowdy. rough rodeo. Um, of the World Championship Episode 1 and 2, uh, which is like two and a half times the normal amount of footage we'll see going forward. Like, for whatever reason, like, I get having a supersized premiere... But they did episodes one and two, which was, episode one was like 71 minutes and episode two was like 47 and then, or 50 something. And then going forward, they're only going to be like an hour each, uh, like normal. Uh, but you did, for whatever reason, this ep- this this one, they decided to do an extra long to get to know everybody and then uh, jump into an episode two where we got left on a cliffhanger with no elimination, which I hope is the only time that that happens going forward. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll see just a quick heads up for anyone who's listening to this and doesn't know, we have not watched the Argentinian, the Australian or the British spinoff. UK. Yeah. Um, we have not watched those. I don't think we will watch those if I'm being honest. We you m- kept saying you didn't want to. Oh, yeah. Cause you really want to, mm. yeah. Try to throw that on me. We, we. We, I might watch the Australian one at some point because we've heard that it's actually. I've pretty heard, good. yeah, I've heard that it's pretty good. Um, the British one, I think, kind of ran ran dry a little bit, and then the, apparently the Argentinian one, which I haven't watched, obviously, um, from what I've been told, is the winner of that show just decided not to come on to this. So the people that we see are not the winners. I didn't know you could do that. I th- like part of the whole reason of competing. Is to well, one win the money, yes, but also you win the money and then you also are on the next show. I don't know. I mean, I uh, I don't know. I, and I think someone's. Uh, again, I'm getting all this secondhand from our Patreon Slack group. Um, I believe someone said that there was only one winner for Argentina. I don't know if that means everyone else quit, or like all the men quit and only one woman won or all the women quit and one man. I don't know, but only one won, And then they're like, ah, I don't want to do it. Hey, well, you know, the U S won almost everybody quit the final two. So the only people that stayed in it are the ones who won, yeah. Yeah, which Danny's on Sarah won more by default than anything. just cause she didn't quit. Danny was leading the group. Yeah. And so I haven't, yeah, I, again, I have, I have no problem with, some of the people that they picked, uh, we we had to learn a lot of names really fast for this, um, and because uh, again we were not familiar with these people uh, going forward. So this this season is set in Cape Town, South Africa, much different than where they filmed you know all the spinoff shows, which was uh, somewhere in Argentina, I believe. And uh, TJ is joined by the hosts of the other countries. I did not write spin-offs. any of their names down. I didn't either, but it was interesting to see that, you know, it it wasn't just him. Yeah. They brought in the other hosts as well. Yeah, they brought they were only around for that like first mini like qualifier thing. But um, to like welcome them in like a familiar yeah. face. I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if they like periodically like one shows up like randomly for a, this daily or this or elimination. elimination. Yeah. And uh I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, clearly I think it's fun. Clearly, as long as TJ's not going anywhere. Yeah, clearly like TJ's the face of the show mm-hmm. and um so we we find out right away that the all the i guess what i don't know what are they call qualifiers all of them are oh they so the group here half of the players are champions well, which are the winners technically not half because argentina didn't well, this is this is straight out of tj's mouth and it's what he true, says though. is truth tj says half of you guys are champions quote winners yeah the other half are MVPs. Yeah, so not true. Um, it uh, the, it would be true if Argentina had two winners and they both showed up, but they didn't. Um, so, uh, again, these, these may be the best four people from the Argentinian show. I don't know, but it's just uh, it's, it's not statistically half. Um, so they, they're all like in, it looks like some soccer stadium, so like huge 
arena where I thought the helicopters that were flying were going to actually come through the opening in the roof. Would there have been enough room? There's plenty of room. For, I mean, it, it would have been dangerous, but there was plenty of room for helicopters. Not three at once, but... Like one land, yeah, another land. Out. But that would have taken land. a long time. Yeah. Um, so I, I thought maybe that's what was going to happen at first. And so uh, we, you find out basically... These all of these contestants are going to be running. It's not a mini final. It's it's. I think they just call it a qualifier for the global MVPs. Is what it's they like say. a what do you call it? A compound. Combine. Combine. A compound is like, isn't that? One of our dogs just sneezed. Uh, uh, it sounded like a sigh to me. Um. One. No. Uh. Anyway. Com- combine is what you're talking about, but it's 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 they did something like this it's very similar in free agents, but the the difference in like the f- the free agent stuff was all the rookies did that, and then the vets ended up picking based on how they performed. Yeah. Um, and this is kind of the opposite. Basically, well, I mean, the vets thought that's what it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, they we d- they kept a a keen eye on everybody's performance. Well, yeah, this thing. I mean, obviously, you're going to watch it, but I mean, but they're they're looking to see who is leading, yeah. who's keeping up, and who's falling behind. Yeah, well, what we find out pretty quick that um the two losing players. Go straight into an elimination. Um, I love it. After this, yeah, I, basically, it's incentive to win. Yeah, and also, um, basically, I don't know if they said it at this point, but the first two, like the two winners, the first male, first female, are safe from possibly being voted in. You know, from everyone else into that elimination. So there's a big incentive. Also, at this point. They may think, oh, if I do well, one, I'll be picked first, or I'll get to pick my partner first. Turns out the global um, MVPs get to pick their partner. So um, I, they they start the, the qualifier or whatever it is inside the stadium, and immediately it is— a, Food challenge. Yeah, a gross—I don't know what it is. They didn't ever really say, but whatever it is, like, they it were was- reacting very strongly. Like- chonky smoothie yeah uh at one point ben like i don't have a lot of specific notes for this but ben like was standing like straight up like when people throw up in, in these types of things they usually hunch over yeah. like go for some sort of trash there's can a or trash something. can right next to them ben was just standing straight up just like projectile vomiting out of himself and like on his podium a little bit mm. and like uh, TJ and the other hosts were like, "Oh my god! Like, what is happening?" So I have I have a handful of notes from this daily. Um, it's not a daily, it kind of. It's not a daily. Um, it's a qualifier. It's the first challenge. Yeah, I have a handful of notes from this. So as they start the food challenge, TJ is telling them to try their best to make a good first impression. Yeah, and it almost makes that sound like oh. If we perform well, we'll be picked first by the better competitors, like the like the vets that are really good. Um, so I think most people were under the impression that the vets were going to choose. Um, I was excited to see Danny here. I yeah, mean, yeah. he won, so I knew he'd be here. But I was just well, Argentina, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the, the thing is, like, I I forgot how much I liked him no, I like on Danny. the U.S. show. I, I, I think the the people from the U.S. like Danny, Sarah, obviously won. I'm glad Ben got a chance because he got yes. medically DQ'd, and I had forgotten and that was that. not his fault. I forgot that until like the beginning of this episode that he was ready for the final, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Hey, you can't run." And uh, so he, I like that he got another chance because he was a good competitor, and he's tough enough, and he's got that grit in him that I think if they had not disqualified him he would have pushed he would have pushed yeah. through and he would have still finished he would not have quit that final. I don't yeah I don't think he would have quit I, I think that I he, think Danny still would have won just because Ben obviously he was medically DQ'd because he had an injury yeah I but if he had not was, be, been DQ'd it would have slowed him down yeah. so he probably wouldn't have been able to keep up but he would have finished yeah um Justine it's fine. I liked Justine. Yeah, again, like she she overperformed honestly, like mm-hmm. compared to the rest of her like Love Island castmates. She really surprised us. I yeah. remember that several times. Um, um Although although I remember at one point in the season she made a, a note like, Oh, I'm too young to know this and we were like, She's not 
She's almost 30, isn't she? She just turned 30, like, this last week. She's older than me. Yeah, and I was like, she, now, even looking back, I was like, she she absolutely, like, should have known whatever the reference was at yeah. the time. Like, she's not, like, she's, like, 23 or something. And uh, anyway. She's not in a crazy age demographic that no, it would no. fly over her head. Uh, what I remember most was, I don't know if you probably don't remember this, there was one elimination um, where she and Tyson were, I think it was she and Tyson, we're safe, and so you know you get to dress up as the power she had a partners. Denim jacket. She wore a denim jacket yeah. with little pearls all over it, and I loved it so much. And then, like me. two months later, I went into a little boutique in this teeny tiny little town just for kicks and giggles, and they had a denim jacket with little pearls all over, almost identical to hers, and they only had. One left, and it was in my size, and I was I bought it, and I was like, I got the jacket like Justine has, and I thought I, I thought it was one of those. You bought it? I did. You've never worn. I it. I have. No. Yes, I wore it when we went to Oktoberfest. I don't remember that day. It's in my closet right now. I've Very worn much. it. I've worn it a couple times. Um, her yeah, her denim jacket is the most memorable thing to me. Because well, it made an impression. Well, I'm glad you're like, you won't remember this. And I immediately was like, what, her denim jacket? Yeah. And, and um, we have another Olympian on this season. True. But I th- I think she's more of an Olympian than Theo actually is. Um, you think Theo's not an Olympian. I've been but told his, he his never. his season, that's all they called I him. I know, but I, I, let me look it up. I don't believe he actually competed. Let me. Theo Campbell. I thought he was a legit. Olympian. I still think he is. Um, I was excited to see him come back. Yeah, I, 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 I think I, he's I a thought good cast. he, I thought he would have been done for good, especially after the eye injury. But he's had surgeries and um, has recovered seemingly perfectly. Because, like, if you didn't know, Not perfectly, he said he's permanently partially blind to one eye. Well, I mean, physically, if you didn't know that he had that injury, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. Um, I don't... So I think he he is uh, a athlete for the country, and I think he's ran in, like, qualifiers and stuff. I don't think he's actually ran in the Olympics. Whereas Emily has competed in the Olympics. I think so, yeah. Um Again, I don't, I don't know that for, yeah, I mean, he, he runs, but there's, but there's like a million qualifiers and stuff that lead up to it. Yeah. And so I don't know if he actually, no, Theo never competed. Someone on, there we go, Reddit's the easiest way to find that. Uh, Was Theo actually an Olympic sprinter? He claims he's a gold medical, medalist, but articles say otherwise. Um, He does have gold medals, but not at the Olympics, according to his athletic profile, he was training for the Olympics. This is a different person. I don't know if he actually competed in it or not. He was on Great Britain's national team and was competing with them internationally, but was not an Olympian. Okay. Yeah. So that. Yeah. No. The other person. No. Theo never competed at the Olympics, European, Commonwealth, or World Championships, and has only ever competed at a national athletics event. Uh, That's still pretty big. Yeah. 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 But again, like I, th- I think it is a different level. From Emily. Yes. Okay. I think it sounds better to say you're an Olympic athlete <laughs> than, <laughs> than it does to, than say, to say, oh, I was on Love Island in 2017. Or or to even say, hey, I, I trained for the Olympics. Yeah, and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not taking anything away from him. He's, he's a national, like, he he's a sprinter for the national team or was. And, and that's a big deal. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it, it's I think she actually, like, has competed in uh, – done well from what i can tell uh well to pivot on a different note nathan who i believe is also from the uk um who's gone he well (laughs) one of the only quotes i got from him was at the very beginning where he says he's not just a fun time boy and i don't have any notes on that guy i just because he said that and i thought it was so funny like the only people that say i'm not just a fun time boy i'm here to compete are usually just fun time boys and then I thought it was really ironic that that was like the only quote I got from him. And then yeah, yeah. almost in, like the next day, they're like, "Yeah, he's been uh, medically separated okay, from so, us." So here's here's the difference. Emily Seabom, who is the Australian swimmer, yes, 
has appeared at four Olympic Games between 2008 and 2021. Wow. Won three Olympic gold medals. Wow. Five World Championship gold medals and sem- seven Commonwealth Games gold medals. How old so, is she? Uh, born is in 92. She- she's 30. Oh, okay. I thought she was younger than that. Yeah. So, like, she's a different level <laughs> of, of... She's a different animal. As far as, like, accomplishments go. Yeah. Um, But, uh... Yeah. In, anyway, I, I that's why like I, I wanted to get that in there because I I know Theo says he's that, but mm-hmm. I don't. From what I've seen and read up on him, he's not ever made it to that level. He's been close. Yeah. He's been very close, and he's probably the best like runner and sprinter on the show for sure. Oh, absolutely. Um. So uh, yeah, just go ahead and go through the rest of whatever you've got for this, and then I'll, I've kind of hit some like overviews. Okay, because um, this was a hard thing to kind of keep track of because there's so much going on, and they go back and well, forth. And this is the first time we've been introduced to every single one of these people except yeah. for the U.S. Like sixty percent of the cast. More more than that. Well, I think of the new cast, it's it's like seventy five percent. Well, I was saying like the whole cast. Well, then that would be like. Forty percent, because we knew no. all we, we know all the veterans. No, let's just and go. We with, know let's the go USA with, Let's teams. go with the first one then. Um, ben has completely run away with this. Like we know Ben. I know. Yeah, but he like he just took off well, like he, a rocket. He, he did, but he made, until yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, for the for the most part, Ben was leading like way ahead well, for the first couple of legs. Yeah. Um, Wes already seems interested in uh, partnering with. Zara. I wonder though if that was filmed after she already picked him. It's possible because it's really easy to say, "Oh yeah, I've had my eye on her for a while." Um, because he's that type of person. Yes, and he is to he get it. that confession. He knows one. it. Um, Kaz is Theo's ex girlfriend, and I think she's she she seems so happy all the time. Yeah, like she seems like someone that I you would want to be friends yeah. with. I think she's really pretty too, and so I get why her and Theo, because I think Theo is a good looking guy. He is, and so and he's tall, and well, he's he, yeah, he's like six four, and he's, he's not an Olympian, he's Olympic no. sprinter. She's like a she's like a some form of like Muay Thai or something fighter, and if she has like yes. a, a gym or and stuff, she's on, and she's a, she, I guess she's she's she is Thai to an extent, like in her heritage, and because she's done a lot of like stuff back in Thailand. With her like reality TV money and stuff oh, like awesome. that, from what I've read, just yeah. briefly trying to catch up on some of these people. No, I think she seems like a really awesome person. Yeah, I um, like her. So she, she and Theo are exes. Yeah, and apparently, according to Theo, they didn't necessarily end on the best terms. And it's not who had Theo's baby. That's a whole separate thing. Because right. you asked me that, and I was like, I don't think the timelines match up. And they broke up like right in at the beginning of twenty twenty. Yes. Okay. So that's the, that. What brought that up was it came out that they're exes, and then they're later on. Somebody, one of the other vets in the house, um, talks about like trying to get them to reconnect, and I was like, "Is that no?" Somebody called them. Someone said, "We need to get mommy and daddy back together." But I think that they were just saying like playfully. Yeah. And I was like, "They're not." But I, I did. I did find out. I don't. I don't know if you know this, but because uh, I was trying to, after the fact, I went and followed all these people as much as many of them that have Instagram and Twitter and all that. Um, I did find out that Kaz had this big video like a couple months ago. And it was like, I just wanted to explain my side and say that I'm sorry to everyone. I'm not denying what happened or whatever. Um, turns out uh, she was in Abu Dhabi or Dubai or something like two years ago during covid Mm -hmm. and someone took a video of her snorting some powders and posted it and that's super illegal there like Mm -hmm. very and so she know yes and she she said she's like i don't deny it she's like it was me and she said i was in a really bad place at the time and was just not doing what i should have done and she was trying to, I think, fly to Thailand or something later, had to stop through there. When she landed in the airport, they arrested her, like, wow. a year and a half later. Um, because, like, they, like she she was in jail there for, like, five or seven days. and That's uh, kind of scary. Yeah. Uh, it being an, e- Even if it's, like, a nice place, like, just being in a foreign jail is yeah because she, she, you never know what they're gonna do and you don't know their laws yeah and then she 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 like admitted to it and said like yeah i did it and it it was wrong and again i was in a bad place i'm not there anymore and uh 
people were asking, was Theo who leaked the video? And she's like, no, it wasn't Theo. Like, he didn't do that. And uh, I couldn't see him being the type to do something like that. Yeah, that seems very... Like, ev- even if he he says they, they didn't end on good terms, I don't see him being, like, malicious. Uh, yeah, he it, seems it's, like just a It's good probably guy. somebody that's just dumb and didn't realize, like, how big of a deal it was right. to do in a country like that. Like, they thought it would be funny to post. Yeah. And anyway, so, yeah, I thought that was an interesting note because I was like, why was she in jail? And then... Uh, turns out she was probably doing cocaine. Yeah. And well, you know, I would if you had told me to guess mm-hmm. where that story was going to go. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that. Well, it took me a while because I was like, because she wouldn't ever say in the video exactly what happened, mm-hmm. and so I, I like Googled it. And you like, digged. Yeah, I was, I was like, what is what happened? And uh, that was like, oh, she's on video snorting some substances, and they take it very seriously in. Abu Dhabi or wherever she was flying through. Awesome. And uh, so, yeah, I do um, like her, though. Yeah, I do, too. Uh, ben. I like Ben. Fought for Team USA across the world. Okay, he was in, like, the military. That's what that's what he said. I he, know. He was but... like, I fought for Team USA across the world. Um, Danny's already talking about his wife, Kiki, of again. Course. And there's a Kiki on this show. And there is a Kiki on this show. He's not partnered with Kiki on the show because um, they're both new. Uh, but I just, you know, again, I forgot how much I liked Danny, um, just on the show in general, but man, I loved his look every, every few sentences, my wife, Kiki, my wife, Kiki. I love it. Um, and then I've got like the winners and stuff. Okay. So I, I initially went through and like, like, oh, this person's in first place at, at the end of this leg. And like, it doesn't matter. You know what happened. So, uh, you know, all I'll say is, you know, the second checkpoint was, you know, the sledgehammers with the tires, and those tires are filled with sand, and, like, that's tough. Yeah. And we, we were talking, I was like, are the, the women's tires filled with less sand? To, I was like, because if they're the same, I was like, that's a huge... And we, we saw, like, some of the smaller girls, like, move the tires a lot more than some of the guys were. Uh, on one swing. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, it's got to be less weight. No, because, like, they showed a close-up of, I think, Ben, yeah. like, swinging at that tire. It moves, like, tire. an inch. And it, it barely moved yeah. at all. And then I think it was... Um, now, now Emily, she's got huge arms. Yeah, it from was swimming. not it Emily. Wasn't her. It was one of the it was really... It like Justine or somebody It like was that. one of the really little girls, maybe yeah. Justine... Swung not not nearly as hard, not nearly as far of yeah. a of a swing, and that sucker took off a couple inches. Yeah, so I mean, I I get it. I, I I get why it's, it's if if they had left the girls' tires the same way as the guys' tires, I think they never would have finished. I I what however much weight was in the guys was, was almost tough. too much. They like, were yeah. barely getting through it. Um, so, yeah, uh, we get to th- the, the third checkpoint is a cement cylinder where basically you have to roll it from one line to the other without touching the ground. Most people got on top. Ben was the first one there, and he stood up like he was in the circus. Immediately. And tried to, like, run it, and it's like, well, your center of gravity is really high during that, and they fell off. Plus, he's really tall. Yeah, and so... Uh, I oh, think- my gosh, can you imagine if... He he did fall, but can you imagine if he fell and got hurt? I mean, I can now. Um, I didn't at the time because he was medically DQ'd in right before the final in the other season, and yeah. then to be doing the first challenge like the qualifier and to to just try to be fast and reckless and then get hurt again. Oh, that would be the worst. Well, I think Grant was the one who first did the backwards roll where you're facing the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. And that, that makes the most sense to me. A couple of the girls I know like stood inside of it and just kind of rolled it that way. Yeah. Um, most people did kind of what Grant did, though, where you kind of face the opposite direction where you're going and pull it kind of towards you. Um, so then after the cylinders, uh, you get to this puzzle. And I was taking notes. And I missed the explanation on the puzzle, but I believe you said that, like, the cylinders were weighted, and you had to put them in order of like least heavy to most heavy, or vice versa, and then correspond that to a key down on the other end. It was really complicated. Yeah. Um, so anyway, there's a puzzle. This is an all around thing, and then you once you finish that puzzle, you have like a weighted flagpole that you have to drag from like one end to the other, and then hoist it. And once it's like set in its uh, stand, that's when it's over for you. Yeah. So. Uh, 
Grant from Australia was first. He won overall. He Why co- did I think Grant was Britain? I don't know. I have the Britain flag next to him. It's similar to the Australian flag. No, the Australian flag has stars on it. Yeah, but but it and it's bluer. He, he's from Australia. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Because Nathan and Tristan are the two guys from the Tristan. UK. Tristan. Yeah. I forgot about him. He's who lost. Yeah. No. Uh. So Grant from Australia, he wins. Ben comes in second. Nathan comes in third. Uh. Which honestly, uh, he com- he ended up being a lot higher than I remembered him being after he got sent home the next day, basically. Um, uh, Danny came in fourth. Uh, Zara from the UK is the first female. Then Ben Ha comes in fifth for the guys. Then Kaz in second for the girls. Uh-huh. Uh, Rodrigo's in sixth for the guys. Justine is in third for the girls. Troy is in seventh, which is the other Australian guy. Um, Kiki... Is fourth for the girls, and then time's up, and they're like, "You guys, you gotta." It's just over. Yeah, and so, so like they go through that in the after Kaz wins second place, they cut to TJ giving Tristan a fifteen minute warning on the puzzle. Yeah, and then he times out and is super embarrassed. Tristan's the only guy who did not finish. Yes. Um, for the girls, Emily came in fifth; she didn't finish. Uh, Sarah came in sixth. She didn't finish. Those two are surprising to me. Yeah. Uh, Huhui came in seventh, which that might be one of the more fun names we've ever had on the show. Huhui? Yeah. Um, and All the Argent- Argentines have really cool names. Yeah. Well, I mean, Claudia or Claudia, however you want to say it. But you've got Rod- Rodrigo and, and Ben Ha. Yeah. Ben Ha. The, J- the J's are H. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Um. And so Tristan from the UK and Claudia, or Claudia, however you want to say it, from Argentina lose. So they are automatically going into elimination. Uh, and Zara and Grant are safe from elimination. Mm-hmm. So um, uh, so after this, what, what are you pointing at me for? We get a confessional. With Nelson. Yes. Yeah. So that, that I, point, I pointed this out to you. I rewound it, and I was like, did you see what you just did? And you're like, no. And Nelson's talking. Do you want the quote? Yeah. He says, I'm with people who've won four times. And he holds up four fingers. Seven times. And then he holds up five fingers. <laughs> and like didn't even try to hold up two. He has both hands free. He, he switched hands. So he did four four fingers. Yeah. I've I've been I'm I'm with people who've won four times. Holds up four fingers on one hand. Yeah. Puts that hand down. Yeah. Seven times. Holds up the other hand with five, five fingers. Dude, what if he just was holding the other two off camera and he? But any, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. We know a lot about Nelson because <laughs> he went four. Yeah. Seven. Oh, speaking of Nelson, uh, this this came out today. I don't even know if you know this. Probably not. Uh, I've he, been off my phone all day. He was in a really bad car wreck, and he's in, he's in the hospital. <gasps> and no. He 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 posted pictures and like he's definitely had like broken bones in his arms and his his legs. Oh and my sewn gosh. Up. The crazy thing is, uh. He well, let me let me get on the Slack group. Cause, is he okay? Yeah, he he said he's okay. Um, but he he posted, him, "I was involved in a car accident. I want to thank KJ at KJ Osborne from the NFL and like the Minnesota Vikings for being on the scene and filming my rescue." So here's the thing: what? I read an article a couple days ago. KJ Osborne, who plays for the Vikings, had helped someone in a car wreck that like he he like helped someone who he had just witnessed like be in a car wreck. Yeah. And that's enough of a headline. Oh, if in an NFL player he helps runs, somebody. runs to help. Yeah. It was Nelson. The the odds of that are insane. Crazy. Yeah. And also so so when it's like you're pointing out, it's really funny that the second thing Nelson says is for being on the scene and filming my rescue. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's there's there's the pictures of him like in there and like that's the oh car and that's his leg and that's his arm. So what happened? Did somebody run into him? I, Was there reckless driving it look, involved? It looks like it's a single car accident. So I wonder if he wasn't paying attention or I, I don't know. I They haven't said that, yeah. but. I or was, sometimes cars go crazy and you lose control. Do you remember? Do you I, no, remember? no, no, no. I will no, say, let me I'll finish. Say, let me I'll finish. Say yes, let me finish. Yes. Hold on. Do you remember the Toyota Camry uh, 
debacle that happened a few years ago where all the Toyota Camrys of that year, there was something wrong in production with the gas pedals and people were driving down, driving them down the road and the gas pedal would get stuck Here's the and thing. it would go full force and all these people were dying and wrecking their cars. Here's the thing. This is Nelson. <laughs> that is what you wouldn't let me say. But I am giving him the benefit of the doubt. Also, I there the like a day or two ago, there was someone that had their Tesla on autopilot, and it like the car freaked out and wrecked itself. Yeah, that's happened a handful of times. Yeah, the Tesla autopilot is not ready for full scale. Yeah, um, or public. Also, the steering wheels have started falling off on some Teslas, and it's become a, I think you should leave meme because the <laughs> steering wheels fly right out the window. <laughs> um, I can't wait for the new season. So uh, anyway, uh, here. No, that's when Nelson, yeah, said four, held up four, then said seven, and held up five, which is typical. Uh, we get a bananas toast after that. Found out why he's so hoarse. He okay. he was sick coming into this. Oh no! And uh, so they, th- and so we find out later Nathan's gone. Yeah, because Nathan had COVID. That's like that's been. Out like that's out. It's not announced on the show, but that's they say that he's medically separated. And I was like, oh, he had COVID for sure. Not medically decued, but medically separated, yeah. which uh, is not. It wasn't clear what that meant. But bananas had come in kind of sick, got sick somewhere else, and oh, uh, I, I you know what I know I I can pull it up, uh, because again, it's like our site group keeps me up to date on some of this stuff. Um, I I do know that they said that because Bananas had sick, a lot of people were asking production to test him a lot more because they wanted him to get out of the show because he's funny. won so many times. Uh, let me see. Um, because I want to. It was something to do with he had to fly somewhere to film. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, a few episodes in, he seemed sick. Nathan went home with COVID. According to, I mean, this is according to Wes, so let's... Okay. But according to Wes, Johnny traveled to Spain to film a Puss in Boots promo with Antonio Banderas. Okay, it's not out of the realm of possibility, but because they did those weird promos on the... I know, I know, hold on. Banderas backed out at the last second, and Johnny filmed the promo by himself. While he was in Spain, he got sick and lost his voice. This is why he couldn't speak very well for the first few days. And... Wes said that the cast was asking for extra COVID tests for Johnny, hoping that he'd get medically DQ'd. I believe every second of that. I do believe that. I believe that in kind of a joking way. Like, hey, can you test him again? Yeah. Um, but it is funny that it was for a Puss in Boots promo. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's where that all came from. Yeah. Well, what got us to Johnny's horse voice was he, he goes to do <gasps> the ceremonial first night toast. And before he does... Theo yells out at yeah. him and says that he's going to sue he's going to sue someone if they pop the champagne out towards them instead of straight up in the air. Yeah, he was Cuz like, that's what happened. Yeah, I mean he popped he opened a champagne bottle and popped himself in the eye and it blinded him. Yeah. And that's crazy. And uh so uh we we get kind of like after this just mingling around the house. I only took in some conversations that I wrote about. One, Casey is talking with someone. I don't remember who she is. <laughs> oh, ooh. I don't remember who she's talking to. But she's like, yeah, my greatest strength is my social game. And then her ability to compete. And I was As like. As though it were, like, her, her ability is second. I was like, here's the thing. Like, you, Casey. Doesn't have a social game. I mean, she she's, I, I think people generally like her. But, like, her biggest strength has always been, oh, I'm an athletic and I'm going to compete until I die, essentially. Mm-hmm. Like, she tore her, like, patellar tendon. And Fessy's like, I can't eat this. We might as well just quit. She's yeah. like, no, I'll keep going. And, uh, like, I never would have said that, like, her greatest strength would be social. Because that almost is, like, a Bananas. political side of thing. Yeah, like, that's that's not. your social. Her social game is not her biggest strength. No, it seems it seems weird for her to say that even. It's uh, very weird. She's for very her to say also that. like not very outgoing compared she's to not. most of these people. Like that that's always the thing is like we've talked about she's just kind of boring. The most we've ever seen with her was this past season where she and Nani were together. 
Speaking of, because they they were on the season almost the entire season together. I want I want to give a shout out to Alan Aguirre because I read one of his articles today. Um, he did put an article of like the ten worst castings of all time. Ooh. Um, for the challenge, and one of them is Nelson on this show. <gasps> no, but because he doesn't fit the criteria, he's never won. Oh yeah, okay. He, he lost. He's lost fifty four dailies in a row at one point. Yeah. Uh, he ha- used to have an impressive. Uh, elimination record. At one point, he was like nine and one. Now he's like nine six and one. And so, uh, his elimination record has really plummeted since we started talking him up as like, oh, he's really underrated in eliminations. What did we do to him? I don't know. But uh, you know, his his point was, you know, Nelson shouldn't be here when there were people out there like Brad and some other ones that Who's said won. they would do this show yeah. that would do the world championships. Like they should have been cast over Nelson. In that context, I understand. Yes. And I had completely forgot. I was like, Oh yeah, Brad would have been a much better just in yes. the, in the realm of, Oh, a, a, an actual winner. <laughs> winner. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and even, even like Derek would have been a better cast to fit the criteria. Um, but yeah, anyway, he also, uh, one of the other names, for the worst ones was Kenny on uh what what was this episode? I mean what was the season we just did? Rivals? No, no. Rivals. Rider dies. Rider dies. Yeah, Kenny was one because he should never have been on this show. Uh basically he said the entire bloodlines casting was that way. Um is is a good article. Just look it up. Um so uh Wes. Na- well I was gonna say Nathan before he's sent home Basically, he's talking with some of the Australian and UK guys, and he's like, hey, we should make an Australian-UK alliance and just try to, like, ride this out together. Uh, and uh, then uh, I was like, Bananas lost his voice, and then the Argentinians love to dance. And that's all I have from this whole era. Okay, so immediately after the champagne is popped, we yeah. see Wes... Um, politicking with the Argentines by speaking Spanish with them. Yeah, and, and it they is, were really it is, excited about it. It's, I'm going to say Argentinians because that's what sounds right to me. You brought that up, and I looked it up, and it's either or depending on where you're from um, or, like, how you're referring to them. So I'm just going to say Argentinians. Well, Ar- Argentine is just kind of, like, burned into my brain because we watch tennis, and obviously in those matches Who's your favorite Argentinian tennis player? Hmm. Name name I got I got one. I can pick one for sure. This is taking you way too long. I know cuz there's I could name two. No, well I can name on I can name one with certainty and then a couple other ones I Think are Argentinian, but I don't want to go that far. Dominic Team's Argentine, isn't he? he no, he's from Austria. Austria he's from that's Europe. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. um, Diego Schwartzman. Diego Schwartzman is yeah the big, and one. he's he's the one that I've watched the most of. But any yeah. any time he's playing, the commentators are like, "Oh, that's a great point for the Argentine." Yeah, but a lot of them are British, and so I think it's it's it's. But that's on. the only way I've ever heard it. Okay. So Ar- Argentine sounds more right to me than Ar- Argentinian. It, see, to me, it's the opposite. It sounds less right. But, I mean, I know, I, again, a lot of the tennis guys are British. Um, so they do love to dance. Wes mm-hmm. does speak Spanish to him. I don't, think, I don't think he's, like, fluent in Spanish, but I think he's got conversational Spanish. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So after Casey says her social game is... Uh, Awesome. Kellyanne. Her, her best trait. <laughs> yeah. Kellyanne has a confessional where she's trying to be like hard. Um, I think Kellyanne and Naya were on his list as well as yeah. for the season. Like neither one of them should have been cast here. Kellyanne is, I don't know if it was that last All Star season that did it for me, but this season I don't love when she's on the screen. She, she's coming across bitter this season. And John A even says something about it. I, like I, in a confessional. I mean, look, we'll get to John A in a little bit, and we'll get to that whole situation, I think, more in the next episode. But, like... Um, it's like she's been slighted, and she's not... Like, she wants to take it out on everybody. I think she feels like she's a better competitor than, like, what she actually is. Because yeah. Kellyanne's very... 
one dimensional to me. Like she's bad at puzzles. She gets very frustrated. And then like freaks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she her her big thing is like endurance and like long distance and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I think seeing someone like John A who has completely changed their legacy on the show. She's done a total 180. It is mind blowing. She's a back to back winner. It, uh, yeah, it, she was overall first draft pick. Well, yeah, we'll we'll get to that. That's next episode. Anyway, yeah. what I was trying to say is, so Kellyanne has a confessional where she's trying to be just hard, like tough, I don't intimidating. Even remember this, yeah. And in that instance, messes up the quote. Oh yeah, yeah. Re- Revenge is best served, and she just can't finish it. Well, she says. Uh, she says she's gonna serve it up hot, and she's like, "Wait, is that right?" No, she she said, "Revenge is best served hot." Yeah, and then she said, "Or cold." Yeah, and it's like you're getting a little bit of Nelson in you, you know, going into this, but not in a good way. N- no, um, Nathan so- is ready to shoot shots right off the bat. Like he's wanting to like make big moves. I said that. I said immediately. Yeah, he, he, he was trying to like make a UK and uh, Australia alliance. Um, Danny talks to Naya about his baby and his wife, Kiki. Mm-hmm. Um, and Naya thinks that she and Danny would make a really good team. And then, uh, Sarah thinks that the dynamic this season will be a team versus team and not partnerships. Like she's. Oh, really? She, I don't yeah, even remember her saying at, that. During this, she's talking with a couple of other people yeah. and she's like trying to convince them this is like teams versus teams well, she, keeps sa- she keeps saying there's yeah. team usa there's team argentina well, what, what about the 16 it, like, it doesn't legends. make any sense but she yeah. she said she does not think it's gonna because somebody else whoever she was talking to was like oh i i was thinking we would be like partners and she's like no it's gonna be teams oh, i don't remember that yeah that's a bad yeah that's, and i was like sarah clearly you're gonna be partnered with, i know but yeah. do you remember the u.s season she was saying all kinds of stuff that did not make sense was kind of I, yeah, like, I, I didn't just off the rails. I did not enjoy her on. I didn't that either. Season. I'm not loving that she's on this season. Here's the thing: she won. Can't take that from her. She has the right to be there. But she was in like consistently last place in a lot of that final. Yes. And it's just the people in front of her gave up. And so mm-hmm. there's some merit to like saying, "Oh, you never give up, whatever." But like, she was so paranoid and like very cringy in the u.s season yeah and uh i i wasn't happy that she won and i wasn't happy that they said she was on this season um but i think these this little take that she it. had yeah. just it's just a clear reminder of why she did not do well that u.s season no she, she did do well she won. She won by default. <laughs> but she did make it to the but final. But throughout yeah. the season, she did not do well. Yeah, she she was, she was consistently in the bottom of the pyramid, and I don't know if that's true. She had a lot of crazy takes. That is true. She had a lot of crazy takes. I she would probably say they're hot takes. They weren't very hot. They were just kind of nonsensical. And a take like this is nonsensical. And it just reminds me I'm not looking forward to seeing her on well, this season. Well, we get to like their deliberation uh, the next day, I believe. Uh, that's when we find out before anything happens that Nathan has been medically separated. And I was like, it's got to be COVID. That is what it was. And so Tristan actually won't have to do an elimination because a guy already is gone. TJ says that Tristan's the luckiest guy alive. Yeah. And so the rest of the group has to select two players – who uh, the winners will pick one of. So Grant and, uh, oh, I lost it. Who who won for the women? Kaz. No, no not second. Kaz. Zara. Zara, yeah. Um, I keep getting them mixed up. That's it's, w- I know. It's going to it's gonna take me a couple episodes Zara to Zara and it. Kiki, to me, I was getting confused. Not their, their looks, but like, oh, who is from the UK and who is from Great Britain? I mean, who is from Australia? And well, I I keep seeing Kaz and Zara, and I can't remember who is who. I I have Kaz is one that smiles all the time. Yeah, but I I haven't gotten their names ingrained into their faces yet. Um. Well. Uh. And, and it. Uh. They kind of go around the U.S. kind of spearheads. Uh. Hey, we're gonna start the vote, and when you do it like that, 
you've got four people in a row that will all vote the same way, essentially, at this point. Mm-hmm. It's a good way to do it because then you've already got the, the ball rolling on those names, and it's really hard to kind of divert away from that. And um, the picks ended up being uh, Kaz and Kiki. Mm-hmm. And uh, we find out Kaz didn't, even though she, uh, did she win the UK season? I think she did. I don't know who won. I think she won the UK season. Uh, she never had to do an elimination. Hmm. Um, even you know that's kind of atypical, but I think like yes was the same way for yeah all stars a couple seasons ago. Um, and so yeah, she she never had to do an elimination, even though she won the UK, which I don't even think at this point the UK season was even out yet. So. I think a lot of the reason that Kaz was one of the votes was because she piped up trying to send Huhui into elimination and Ben Ha called her out in front of everybody on trying to cut Argentina out of the game because um, what is the other girl's name? The one that's going into, that's already in elimination. Claudia. Claudia. I keep wanting to call her Camilla. Claudia yeah, is point. already in elimination and she's from Argentina. Yeah. And so the the other Argentines are like, well, why are you trying to get us all, like put all of us in elimination and get us out first? Like that doesn't make any, like that's not fair. Um, and not only that, but then she, all, like Kaz also makes a dumb play by burn voting for Justine. Yeah, a handful, a handful of people burn voted for reasons that, they shouldn't have, and I think it's just a little bit of lack of experience. She could have thrown a vote to Huhui, who she was trying yeah. to get everyone to vote for. I think maybe and potentially in, save herself. I think maybe in her mind she was like, "Oh, I'm, I don't want them to think that I'm going after them." Whatever. Well, she already did. I, know, I don't. It just crazy, but um, it just crazy. It is. It just crazy. I don't know if you remember. I actually had a couple notes before the nominations it's that fine. I forgot about. We don't need to go through. Them. No, We've already just hit one thing. No, no, no. M- one bananas wants to be the first one picked if if it's t- uh, partnerships. Um, two, Emily is telling Grant about how much she likes Sarah, and um, she really wants to form an alliance with Sarah. But Grant tries to remind her that Sarah's from Survivor and mm. is like a pro manipulator, and will tell you well, what you Survivor in general. People that yeah. win Survivor typically are. A little bit that way sneaky yeah and so he's like just keep that in mind that you know like that's kind of the whole gameplay on that show um so but we got to get through this we got i know i'm episode. just i'm tying it together after after these votes emily like it solidified it for emily she now thinks that sarah is definitely someone to be trusted after those nominations and i just think that it's just gonna Bite her in the butt. Well, we go to the elimination, um, and uh, basically uh, Grant and Zara have to choose. They split the vote because uh, neither one of them want to vote for someone from their own country to send them in. They don't want to break up that little bit of alliance that you have already. And uh, But TJ's like, are you sure? They say, yeah. Zara like kind of confirms that, yeah, that's what I want to do. And he's like, well... Um, because it's a female elimination, Zara's vote is going to be the deciding vote, and so she gets to pick. So she saves Kaz. She throws in Kiki because Kiki's from Australia. Kaz is from the UK. Um, and so uh, we get into it, and it's pole wrestle, classic elimination, seen it a million times. Um, we do find out that Claudia won all three of her eliminations in the Argentinian season. Um, she was super ready to start this elimination. Like she, it, it was like she was so excited to just be there and couldn't wait to like get in the ring. And by the way, forty five. Yeah, I couldn't believe that she looks great for forty five. She looks incredible for forty five. Yeah. Um, she was super ready to start, and then cut to Kiki. She looks like she didn't even want to be there anymore. I think she was just mad. Um, so basically, they get going. There's three rounds, or you have to win three rounds, and uh. Kiki wins round one, like, pretty normal. Um, but in round two, Kiki ends up using her foot. That's on- round one. I 
Oh, well, my notes are... No, that's not what my notes say. It says Kiki Rins round two uses her foot oh. as leverage. Um, there were there were some people, I can't remember who it was, that said, maybe it was Wes. Yeah. He was like, I've done a lot of pole wrestles, and I've never thought to use my foot like that. Well, let's like give full context to that. Wes says, I'm who made pole wrestle famous. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, no, it it was a good move. I do think it happened in round two, um, but it uh it it was smart to like use that as extra leverage to push it away, um, and that's that's extra strength. Like you're using your arms, yeah, yeah. all the strength in your arms. Use your leg because well, that's also your a, legs long. That's too. a whole lot yeah. of muscle right there. That's not going. You're not exerting extra energy from your arms. So yeah. you're just helping yourself. She wins round two, and then in round three, it's over quick. Yeah, Claudia, Claudia, whatever. She seemed to like kind of give up, tire out. Some I don't know. She's forty five. Yeah, she looks uh, great for forty five, but that doesn't mean that she still has the energy. So Kiki won round three, so that means she gets to stay. I gotta be honest. I would rather Claudia stay, Claudia. My Whatever. my next note was that I already miss her. I like her. I liked her attitude. I liked TJ immediately afterwards. He was like, he was gonna be, he was gonna say something like, "Wow, what an elimination!" He went, "Wow," and she goes, "Wow," and <laughs> like she was just enthusiastic, even though she had just lost. And uh, I think it kind of threw him for a loop. Yeah. He wasn't ready for it. I I, I did. I liked her. I wish she would have got to stay. Uh, honestly, Tristan. He seems kind of a little bit like nothing, even though I do think he won the the British one. Uh, he he has not had a good showing so far. So uh, this is where we find out that they will be picking in the order that they finished the daily, and they'll pick the obviously the veterans, whatever they're called, uh, going into this, and then we get a cliffhanger going into episode two. I have another note after the elimination. I don't remember all of the context, but it just says Emily now realizes it was a mistake to go with Sarah's plan and wants Australia to stick together. Uh, Maybe because she's realizing that Sarah know. Sarah just wants U.S. people. Yeah, I mean. And that she's going to end up targeting Australia, too. Yeah, again, like, uh, anyway, the, the, the next episode... <gasps> Smashed head, I was, head uh, smashed. Do it all it's at thing. no, uh, uh-uh, it's after every episode. But this is a basic. No, it's a two episode premiere. No, but we watched one episode and then we okay, watched another who, episode. Who smashed some heads. Wes, when he was speaking Spanish with the Argentines. Great one, great. It, he we, smashed the heads. Nobody expected it. Who got their heads smashed? Uh, Nathan by being medically, uh, basically DQ'd from the show out uh, of nowhere. If I had to go who smashed heads, because I wasn't planning on doing it for this. Uh, you never prepare for him anyway. I, I'll give it to... Uh, I'll give it to Grant, because Ben had the lead, and Grant just kind of stole it from him. At in the order, end. Yeah. And then for who got their head smashed, um, I I guess it would be... Uh, I don't want to say Claudia. I'll give it to Tristan just because, like, he's lucky that he's even here. Yeah, this is Josh Martinez 2.0 as of right now. If like he 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 probably could have got sent home, and uh, he's lucky that he's not as of right now. And also, spoiler alert for who he picks as a partner: they do not compliment each other at all because he's the last pick. Yeah, and so anyway, here I'm gonna go through. The next episode starts. They pick the partners. I'm going to hit every partnership, and then we're just going to go from there. Darrell doesn't want to get picked last because he doesn't want his kids laughing at him. Okay. Here we go. Uh, basically, Grant gets to pick first. So Grant, out of everybody, picks John A. And, like, number one overall draft pick John A. Here's the thing. I wonder if these people have only really watched like the All Star seasons or like the most recent. Well, because those are the ones that are available on like Paramount Plus. Yeah, like I don't know every season that's available in Australia or whatever. I get why he picked it and like it worked out on the next daily. However, I do have like a residual. I watched John A for so many years 
that just seeing mm-hmm. her be the first overall pick out of all these people, I, I there, there's still like an, Zach, a, there's a there's a problem to me, and I she get she had not had children at that point. She didn't have that mom strength. Uh, she, she has it now. She she didn't she, have anything early on. Yeah, and then she retired, and she got married, and she had babies, and then she came back, and she destroyed everyone. Well, not the first season. The but first season, she did way better than yeah, anybody. Like, she kept surprising everybody. But, like, here's here's the thing. When we did our fantasy draft for the first season, no one even picked her. She was. The, I remember. She was the only person that me and you and Jake did not pick because we're like, John A., who cares? And it's just crazy how different it's become. Anyway, so Zara then picks Wes, who, by the way, here's, here's, here's my theory. Okay. I think these people have only watched – the All Star stuff, because the first two picks were the two people who won the last All Star season. I I wouldn't necessarily come to that conclusion after Zara picking Wes. I do because it's Wes. I I get it, but I probably would have picked but Jordan. Le- but legacy wise, Bananas and Jordan are higher than Wes. We've talked about it, but. A lot of people hate Jordan. Jordan would normally be my number one pick, but a, but a lot of people hate him, and he can be really abrasive um, relationally, Listen, like you, it, you like can, talking with people. Can, and so, like, I would be afraid that that would put an automatic target. You on my can mind. rationalize it however you want. I'm going with the fact that these people are like, oh, I'm coming on this show. Let's watch the most recent season. It's all stars. Let's cool. Well, these people won. Zara picked Wes, and somebody said that it would like that was a hit to Johnny's ego and that he looked devastated and the camera cut to him and he did look really upset. Well, then Ben is the next one. He picks Casey. Um, athletically, good pair. Um, I'm not sure, you know. Ben's going to be a lot more entertaining. I'm not sure how it will be if in like puzzles and stuff like that going forward. I don't really remember as far as, uh, you know, Casey's how good she is with that type of stuff. But um, the only season she's won mm-hmm. was when CT was partnered with her. And, you know, we've seen CT make Amber be a finalist. I mean, a champion. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Kaz then picks Jordan. That is a good pair. That is a really good they're pair. They're small. They're they're not very big, but they're but both fighters. I I think Kaz can pull her own weight. Yeah. I mean, she won. She and I, I think Jordan's going to like being partnered with her. I think they're... From what I've seen so far of her personality, I think that they'll like mesh well together. So uh, that's a good pickup. Danny goes to Tori. As instructed by his wife, Kiki. True. I'm not sure how well they complement each other. Um, again, it seems more like athlete with athlete type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll see. Uh, Justine picks bananas. Again, bananas. Third. Third. I mean, I, I, I get it. I think most people would have probably put west there like yeah. just i mean know, that's honestly. that's that's a good grab for third male pick yeah. um, for just and for justine benha then goes with jody even though he knows that she doesn't want to yeah partner with him. i mean he said he could have said that after the fact but um you know jody's jody's underrated she's older than s- some of these other ones but like she stayed in like really good shape and like was really dominant when she was on her early years, but early years were a lot different from these more recent. I get years. it, but like I, I think she can hang with them. Um, so Kiki then takes Darrell, um, Rodrigo picks Naya, which you point the, out they're both chefs. They're both chefs, which I didn't even think about. Um, they can cook with each other and for each other. So uh, Emily then picks Yes. That's a sneaky. That's pick. a really good pick. Yeah. Um. Again, the the thing with Yes though is that he's never had to really do eliminations. Yeah. Um, and that, that's going to be, what can you put it together in that category? Because I don't think these vets that are here that saw him win all stars are going to just let him get through to another final, right? uh, without at least testing an elimination. So, uh, Troy picks Amber, which I got to be honest, this seems like one of the weaker pairs. Yes. Troy is very agile and very... Uh, I kept telling you he he's squirrely to me. This is a very, I was about to ask: Is this the one you kept saying was squirrely? He's 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 ve- like he reminds me of like Reese Darby, for, who was like the manager of Flight of the Concords, and uh, he from reminds New, New me of Joel Haver. Well, I'll put those two together and make him like five seven because he's very short compared to a lot of these. Joel people. Haver's short. 
I don't know if he's that short. Um, but yeah, so they're they're a strange one. Um, Sarah getting Theo this late is that was very like shocking. Really, I mean, Darrell and yes, I do understand, but I mean, Theo going to Sarah is, I don't know. How, I think their personalities won't work very well together, but I mean, he's a great competitor. Yeah. Um, and uh, then. Um, Tristan picks Kellyanne, which again they Ooh. do not compliment each other at all. And uh, Huhui gets Nelson, and Kelly. So Kellyanne and Nelson were the last options. N- neither one of and them. Nelson. I, neither one of them have won. I know, and but Nelson looked so heartbroken I don't know to not that. be picked. No, it they showed his face and he looked so distraught that yeah, he was he not even been thinking picked. about like birds or something and like just got confused for a second. I love Nelson and I hate that he wasn't even chosen. But okay, but let's let's be honest. But, Out of everyone on this list, Nelson is Al- the lowest. Alan had a good point that I've not thought about. Nelson has not won. He also lost 54 dailies in a row. Yeah. Now, Anissa is the only person to ever lose 100 total dailies, but Nelson lost 54 in a row. That's mm. insane. Like, I think you would accidentally win one at one point. Um, now, here's the thing. The guy side is crazy stacked, and Nelson should have been the last pick. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I don't think there's even a debate that he should have been above anybody. Are you going to put him above... Uh, Theo, no. No. Are you going to put him above yes? I, yes, one. Probably not. Yeah, yes, one reason. Are you going to put him above Jarrell? No. No. Jarrell's a four-time champion, even though they were early on, and Jarrell has not shown out as well recent years. I still would take Jarrell over Nelson every day. Hey, at the top of episode one, Jarrell literally said he, quote, ain't got nothing to prove because he's won four finals. He, he won four in a row to start his career. And uh, then from there, it's not been great as far as winning, but um, BTW Joel Haver is five eight. Okay, I don't know so if you he, can trust whatever you're and, pulling that info from. He and Squirrel Boy are about the same height. Um, so uh, basically, they get back to the house. I didn't write very much. Wes just gave Zara like a master class on. Everyone I have a house. handful of notes. Okay, because I don't. Um, Justine is expecting chaos because all the teams are really strong. Mm, not all, but ninety percent okay. of the teams are really strong. Uh, the two not strong teams are Squirrel Boy and whoever he's partnered with, Amber. Yes. Who uh, again? Amber's big thing is endurance. Um, and then I think Tristan and Kellyanne is another. Yeah. So far, I would put I would put Sarah and Theo. And Huhui and Nelson above those other two teams. I would too, because of Nelson and because of Theo. Yeah. Um. Nelson. Well, I mean, Sarah did win, so. Yeah. Nelson tells Huhui that their obstacle for the next daily is going to be communication, and you pointed out yes. English is not her first language. Well, English is doesn't seem to be <laughs> Nelson's first language. <laughs> Like, that's the problem. Oh. Like, imagine as someone who doesn't speak a language natively, and the person that is fluent in it that's talking to you is Nelson, who just makes up things and it rearranges makes up words. rearranges <laughs> words and, like, adds things to the end of them that don't belong there. Like, do you know how confusing that would be if you had someone like that? <coughs> I just drowned myself in my water. Yeah, so... Like, up my nose. Imagine someone who <laughs> who speaks Spanish, like talking, talk, even coming in as a second, like, like Rodrigo, like even his confessionals, like he's speaking Spanish most of the time. Yeah. Second, like English is definitely their second language. Maybe not even second. And so, like, just imagine, out of everyone you could have been picked with. I mean, she did lose, so I, I get why she's. She didn't pick like they. Yeah. Neither one of them chose. They were put together. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, Nelson is the worst person to get if you have a language barrier because CT would be close, just because oh, yeah. CT mumbles a I, lot. At least with Nelson, I can understand. You can, and I, I can, I can 
figure out what he's trying to say versus CT. Even when we turn up the volume, I still can't catch 75% of what he says. Oh, that is that is such it a is lie. Not it is a lie. It is 75%. not a lie. 75%. How often the last like two seasons he was on, how often did production have to put up lower thirds for uh, like close captioning? Are you kidding sporadically, me? Sporadically, not 75% Are you of the time. Kidding me? Good lord. I hardly ever understood what he was saying. Oh my gosh, that is such that is so hyperbolic. Um the the thing is um, I do wish CT was on the season. I know why he's not. Like, and and West kind of brought it up. It's like he's he's dealing with some family things right now. He yeah. needs to be away. Uh, there's a whole custody thing going on with their son, and so I get it. Uh, but like, imagine CT on this cast instead of Nelson. <sighs> Good he would have picked. He would have been picked really early. CT would have should have gone number one. Yeah, CT should go number one out of all these guys because the last couple seasons he's been on, he's either won or made saying. the final. And he's gotten better with age, and like he's aging like fine wine. But Are you I'm kidding saying, me? like CT, even though Johnny has more, yeah, I think C. We talked about it. I, I think at this point CT is the best. G G O A T. Yeah. Um, um. So, yeah. That so Nelson's like this is gonna be our whatever whatever the daily is. Our obstacle yeah. is communication. <laughs> Absolutely, because he probably would be like communication fies. <laughs> And she's like, I don't know what you're saying. Or let's let's go conversate. Yeah, and it's like I kind of get the root of the word, but I don't. But like, like that's that that is a thing. Like, um, in a lot of times in like the Memphis area, and I didn't realize this until later on. Conversate is not a word; it's converse. Yeah, like I I knew converse, but I didn't know conversate was not also the correct terminology because that's all anybody says over there. It's like, yeah, let's go conversate. I've never heard anyone in real life say that. Well, you've never lived in Memphis. You lived in Memphis when you were seven. No, I was still in Knoxville when I was seven. It's yeah. There's not even close, but anyway, like that's, that seems like something like he would say like, Oh yeah, we need to conversate about this. And she probably would not have a clue what he just said. Um, it's not that it's just like the neat needy greedy and like those type of things uh oh, that just are just wrong i love it i can't wait to see what happens um john a tells casey that she's unsure of her relationship in the game with kellyanne after winning her last season um so like john a basically says that she and kellyanne are actually really good friends like irl But after John A. won the final, she, like, this is where she points it out. Kellyanne seems to be holding a lot of really harsh feelings that John A. beat her and, like, can't get over it. I think Kellyanne's mind is that she thinks she's a better competitor than John A. But she didn't compete better in the final. John A. won. I think John A. at this point is way more well-rounded, for sure. Absolutely. uh, Like, not just that she beat Kellyanne, but she won back-to-back seasons. That's a big thing. her and Kellyanne tied on the first All-Stars. Yeah, huge. In the final. Huge. They tied, then she won, then she won again. The thing is, like, if there was... Remember the first All-Stars, there was only one winner, and it was just whoever finished first, Mm -hmm. and it was just, uh, yes, I believe. Yeah, And so. Uh, there was no male winner, female winner. And so Kellyanne and uh, John A. tied, mm-hmm. and then John A. just won the next two. Yeah. And I think Kellyanne just thinks kind of how a lot of people who saw John A. like, oh, I, I should be better than John A. at this. But John A.'s turned it around. John, I'm telling you, John A. had kids, and now she's a beast. Um, after this is where Wes is telling Zara, um, don't get distracted by everyone else's workouts. They're going to be lifting weights. They're going to be doing yoga. Bicep curls and stuff. He told her, he said, your only focus is long distance running. I mean, he's not And that's a good point. There's never a part of the final where it's like, hey, how much can you bench press? It's like, can you endure? Mm -hmm. And like. Can you run for 10 miles and then eat a crazy food challenge and then run another five miles? Well, and then like carry tires like back Mm -hmm. and forth. And it's never like a brute strength thing. It, they're strength involved, but a lot of time it's strength to see how much you can endure, like how much can you push through. Yeah. And so he's he's not wrong in that. Um, so we we go to the daily, 
uh, it's it's called Chain Game, which I thought he said Chain Gang at first, and then I looked at the screen. Chain Gang. Yeah, uh, Chain Game, um, which I think a Chain Gang is like a reference to like old prison stuff where they would have people working on the side of the road and they're all chained together. So that's probably why they didn't call it that. It's probably some racial undertones to all that going back to the early American uh prison institution but um glad you brought it up it's called what well, i thought that's what he said and so uh chain game and basically you have 700 pounds or something of a chain and um they're color coordinated and the the puzzles that are the closest are the hardest the ones that you have to drag your chain further away from are easier okay and so it's hey do you want to spend more effort and energy on the front end pulling your chain further away or do you want to just go just a little bit and try to like knock out a harder puzzle Mm -hmm. and um i don't have anything to say about the specifics of this daily because it's a lot of just oh hey let's figure this out and there's not a lot to talk about i've just got a couple things john a and grant end up getting the hardest puzzle um, but neither one of them is worried because Johnny's good at puzzles. Yeah, and and Grant looks really strong. Yeah. yeah. Um. So like they were not concerned at all. Um. Jody and Ben Ha are worried about not having alliances, especially with Argentina already having a target. Well, and Claudia's already gone. It's easy to just keep picking on them. Right. Yeah. Um. It ended up being John A. and Grant versus Jordan and Kaz in a sprint to the bell. Yeah. Grant and John A. end up winning. Well, I, I, they had taken off first, and then they cut to the other camera where Jordan and Kaz get their check, and they're cleared, and they're like, oh, we got to go. And But it they, they was already like too late. But it is close. Like Jordan, Jordan and Kaz are going to be tough. Mm-hmm. Um, it is crazy, though, that John A. was the first pick and then wins the first daily. And has the hardest puzzle, theoretically. Right. Um, uh, Amber says in the confessional that last place in the daily goes straight to elimination. So this is st- setting like the it. standard. I like that it. we love. Yeah, because you get it's. I don't like. Oh, well, it doesn't matter how we finish. It's just if we have alliances or not. Um, last place, you're going right in. Fine with it. Love uh, it. Ben and Casey uh, end up coming in third, and uh, I didn't write anything after that because I was like, you know what? The first three are the only ones that are really important. I only wrote. About Grant Johnny winning. Yeah. Um, so well, Trist- I, I, Tristan was complaining about Kellyanne already. Um, again, a puzzle. She gets frazzled and yeah. can't function. Uh, so he was saying that he really needs her to work with him instead of just telling him. Like, yeah, she was yelling, like yelling at him what to do because he's like, we're a team. We're well, supposed the, to work the, together. The last two teams left after, you know, everyone kind of started knocking it out are Nelson and Huhui. Mm-hmm. And Kellyanne and Tristan. And um, I don't know how long it's been since others finished or whatever, but it seems like everyone's just kind of waiting on them to. And finally, Kellyanne and Tristan finish. Nelson and Huhui do not complete the puzzle, no. therefore, last place. Therefore, they go straight to elimination. Yeah. And uh, so they're direct in, no problem with it. I think that's how it should be. Um, we get back to the house and Wes is talking with Jody and seemingly floats out the idea of working together. He's trying to strategize. Yeah. With her. Um, now we find out later that that does not happen, but um, that's what's going on. And then we cut to Kellyanne and she's just having a meltdown. She is in a, one of the bedrooms with Tori and Jody. Yeah. And she tells them to just throw in someone from the U.S. And Jody reminds her, hey, Tori is, oh, it's 1030. Um, so Killian's like, just throw in someone from the U.S. And Jody was like, uh, Tori's partnered with a U.S. player. And then Killian just kind of freaks out immediately. She tries to backtrack, tries to cover well, it's it up. What's not even that? It's just like she just is upset that John A was the first pick, and she's, she's upset bitter. that John A won the daily. She's bitter, and she came in last. Like she was picked next to last, essentially, mm-hmm. and then she came in last. And 
uh, so next like, to last. Sorry. W- once once this ha- she was the last one to complete the daily. Yeah, I mean she, um, she's not automatically in, but so once she realizes what she's done, she starts going around the house to try and backtrack, try to save face. And uh, Johnny says in a confessional, paranoia is a heck of a drug, and Kellyanne is high off her butt on it. Well, it's not even that. At one point, she just like is just like badgering like bananas about, it. and he's like, "I've talked to you more about this than I have my partner." It's like let's like let's leave yeah. it alone. Like I I don't know what we're doing yet, and why would he tell her anyway? Because again, she's partnered with someone from the UK. Yeah, he's partnered with someone from the US, so uh-huh. there's going to be some division through there, and. She's like having a total and complete come apart over it. And it's because she just was not being smart and not paying attention to what she was saying or who she was it's, saying it's it not, to. It's not even that. I don't think it's it's the fact that she said, oh, we should throw in someone from the U.S. I think she's just kind of the whole situation with John A. is in her head and that she did so bad. And that here's the other thing. The guy she's partnered with was supposed to go into elimination already, and he got mm-hmm. scapegoated out of it. And so it's easy to just pick them again, yeah, and just say, "Oh yeah, well you should have gone in already." So wait, let's vote for for Nathan again. Exactly. I mean, not Nathan. Let's vote for Tristan again. Tristan, because Nathan got sent home. Well, Tori goes to her partner Danny and Sarah as well, and tells them about what Kellyanne said. And when she says this, some of the Argentines hear it as well. Yeah. And so that's like the little bird in their ear that says, hey, there's a lot of heat on Kellyanne and Tristan right now who neither of them are from Argentina. Yeah. Let's gang up. Absolutely. And, and Ar- take the target off of us. Well, Argentina's on the defensive right now. Right. And uh, This couldn't have come at a better time for them. So we go to the deliberation, and um, basically they start to vote, and yes just says, hey, I'm going to throw out – the bottom two teams from the daily, essentially, that were left. And Which is Kellyanne and Tristan. Yeah. And then Jody and Ben Ha. Yeah. And so uh, it kind of just floats that way throughout the rest of the time. Like, that that ends up being the vote is Kellyanne and Tristan and Ben Ha and Jody. And Wes voted <laughs> against Jody. Kellyanne did not think Wes was going to vote for her and Tristan. Um, and she even says in the confessional, she's like, I really thought that our relationship 12 years ago meant a lot more. 12 years ago. One, that's a weird thing to say about someone that is married and has been married for a few years. That's a weird thing to say. And two, it was 12 years ago. I think more than. He's dated other people since then and so has she. So why is she so hung up on this? I just think she thought it's numbers just because of history. But, um, again, like. If you're one, like, like I think Wes said, like, why would you rock the boat? You don't want to, like, you don't want to look like you're making big moves this early on. Just go with whatever's being said. And just as long as you're not part of it, great. And yeah. so, like, if he, even though he talked with Jody, like, if Jody's mad at you, like, what what's the worst that's going to happen? Yeah, who cares? If Kellyanne and Tristan are mad at you, they're not a strong team to begin with, it seems. And what's the worst that's going to happen? She's coming apart mentally, and he was already bottom of the totem pole since even he got he, here. Even though he did win his season somehow. Since he got here, uh, he's been at the bottom. Yeah, he's, he's it's not looking good. And and I, I told you at this point, I was like, honestly, I think Nelson and Huhui beat either one of these teams. Absolutely. I don't know what, I mean, unless it's just strictly puzzles. And it's only puzzles, and they have to communicate. Yeah. And then there may be an issue. If it's, like, strength, endurance, mm-hmm. I think Nelson and, and Huhui got it. I think they run away with it. Um, I mean, it, like, even Wes said in a confessional, he was like, you know, uh, Kellyanne and I are friends, but at the end of the day, I'm playing for Zara and myself. Absolutely. It's, like, it's for your own pocketbook. Well, it's, it's not, and it's not even, like, there are country – semi-alliances to begin with but i think so far only emily is the one that is acknowledged like yeah even though i would love to work with my team at some point i'm gonna have to turn on them yeah like if i want to win and it's like yeah that's how it should be you've got to be aware um but yeah i mean he he did say additionally in the confessional i'm just going with the flow it tells the house that i'm not going to be making big moves right now yeah which is really big because if if that 
is understood by most of the house, then he doesn't have a target on his back right now. I mean, there's no reason to to like buck the trend of those are the two names. Mm-hmm. Go for it. And so Kellyanne was just so offended that she was voted as one of the nominations. Um, and then like says to the house, uh, quote, I don't want the really strong teams here at the end, but I guess you all do. Yeah. And I just put cringe. Yeah, I mean it's 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 out of it's all defensive. It's all um lashing out because you feel ganged up on. Mm-hmm. And um it's not even really that she's being is ganged up on, it's just that they've done bad. Yeah. And they performed poorly. I mean, yes was the one that opened it up and he's the most level headed. And, and yes is and the like, exact type of guy who would do it exclusively off merit. Yes. Not on any personal feelings. He is the most like super nice, not going to backstab you or anything. Yeah. And he said it should be the two teams that came in last. Yeah. And she was one of them. If she doesn't want to be nominated Don't come and, last. and they go with whatever yes like if that's a standard that yes says, I don't think. Yeah, I don't but. think it will either. But if it were a trend that were to continue, if you don't want to go in, don't come in last. Yeah, I'm. I like that this this it's it's going to be a lot harder for people who don't win to make mm-hmm. moves because you have to convince enough people to vote your way and then hope the people that did win pick who you want to be picked. Right. And so it's going to be an interesting season going forward on that aspect because um, it's not like, oh, well, I won. I get to pick whoever goes in. Right. And It's almost like that's too much power. Yeah. And so, or I get to pick the four, you know, and mm-hmm. all that crap. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. A- after this whole deliberation thing is when Kellyanne oh. just kind of goes off on John A. Well, what happened was... They're like, it looks like they're getting ready for a to night go out. out. Yeah. Um, because Kellyanne's like putting on makeup and stuff, and um, John A's getting ready, and she just tells Kellyanne that she's stressed, and Kellyanne is like, "Well, what do you have to be stressed about?" And she's being super passive aggressive by mentioning how John A won the daily and is safe from elimination, and won back-to-back seasons, and tied with her, and then beat her, yeah. and just keeps going on and on. And she John did. A, she did all that. John A just kind of looks at her like, girl, what's going on with you right now? Like, you've taken the fast pass to crazy town. Um, but I really think that this is, I think this is going to come to a culmination probably towards the beginning of the next episode. Oh yeah, I I think that's got to be the only reason why we got a cliffhanger is because she's gonna Kellyanne's gonna go home. Yeah, <laughs> like, she's gonna lose it. I don't know that's what happens. I don't know anything that is go- going forward in this season. Um, I can't imagine if she and Tristan are the team voted in. I can't imagine that they win. Uh, it, uh, if it's yeah. a puzzle. Maybe. I think Nelson and Huhui uh, might win. The only the only thing would just be is if they can't talk to each other, and um. But yeah, I don't think they'll do a puzzle. Uh, pole wrestle um was the first one. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be maybe something we've seen before. They're not gonna introduce anything new because this is like the best of the best, right? Mm-hmm. And so they'll uh, bring out the best of the best eliminations. If if uh, if. If Tristan does go home, that makes the whole UK season look really bad that he yes. won. Um, and then that Kaz won and she never went into an elimination. Um, but I uh, haven't seen that season, um, so I can't really comment on that much. But uh, I like Kaz a lot more than I like Tristan. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what? This doesn't have anything to do with any of the seasons, but uh, shout out to... Uh, Georgia, you know, Harrison, yes, who uh, she's doing some sort of a big sit down interview because Bear went to prison, he did, and uh, which he should have. It's it's a big deal, yeah. And she's gonna like give her side of everything because he filmed her on his property without his consent and then released without her it. consent, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. And then just put it out on the internet, like, hey, here's me having sex with her, and uh, I'm glad he went to jail because he mm-hmm. seemed. He he was. A, I'm glad she took it to court. He was a guy that, TV wise, I did kind of enjoy because mm-hmm. he was a loose cannon, but in real life, like he seems like a horrible person, 
And I'm I'm glad for the outcome because he was someone who had a lot of connections and seemed to be someone who could have a lot of power. Yeah, I mean they they said I want to say like the the rumors were like he's he signed on when he to do the challenge and they, he was getting paid like almost a million dollars to to be on the show just to yeah. be on it yeah. for like two or three seasons. And like that's a crazy amount of money but he had a lot of following in the UK. Mm-hmm. And it was either five hundred thousand or a million, but uh, regardless, that is a huge appearance fee. And um, so, uh, anyway, this this episode ends basically with Kelly Ann's being like, "Oh, poor me, John A. Why are you mean to me?" And it's like, John not like, even what? John A. Why are you mean yeah. to me? It's poor me, John A. Why did you beat me? Yeah, like, and it's she's like, "Are you gonna pick me?" She's like, "Why well, don't." I don't. I can't say one way or the other. It's like, well, I would never pick you. And then, yeah, she's like, I I would value our friendship yeah. more than that. And at, at that point, I would just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna pick you. Anyway. Yeah, if you're gonna gaslight me, I'm gonna pick you out of spite. I I think honestly that may be what happens. I hope that's what happens. Um, or or if you have if John A really wants to be like the friend and say I'm not gonna vote for you, but Grant is. Willing to vote for Tristan and Kellyanne, and it splits the vote again. And TJ is like, "Okay, well, since it's the guys, el- it's not a guys' limit. Well, so it's a team. Since, since it yeah. was uh, the girl last time, now yeah. the guy gets to." Well, here, choose. I mean, here, here's the thing: like Grant's Australian, and Johnny's from the U.S. The two people going up that aren't you know legends are Argentina and the U.K. So they don't really have ties to either of them. Yeah, it's really easy. For them to say, well, Argentina's already down a player. Let's take the the UK team down a peg, maybe. Mm-hmm. And because you already have another Argentinian Argentinian person in Huhui already in. Oh, right, yeah. And so, like, instead of putting another... Because Argentina's going to lose a player no matter what. So they're they're already weak. Yeah. Why not weaken another team? Yeah, I, I again... Because once, Ar- once all of Argentina is gone, if they were to take out Argentina consecutive episodes then all the other teams are on level playing field again. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but I think Kellyanne's just kind of digging her own grave more than anything, just trying to, like, oh, poor me. She Why put is the shovel so in the dirt. Me? Is that a saying? I don't think so. Well, I was just saying, like, like, yeah, she's digging her own grave, but she she was the one that went to the store and bought the shovel. Well, that's a whole different analogy than well, what Well, she bought the shovel, and then she's the one that put it in the dirt. And started well, digging. that's how this episode <laughs> ends. Um, and uh, again, I, I think this season's gonna end up being good just because, like, more than anything, the like legend cast is really solid, yeah. And I think there are some a couple of misses, you know, like again, Nelson over like a Brad or someone like that. Um, and you know, Kellyanne and Naya, neither one have won before oh i forgot naya hasn't won either um and uh you know that's going to be interesting to see uh it just depends on who was available but i know these this was like a shorter filming time than like a real season so uh yeah well i wonder who got left on the like casting floor essentially and didn't get to to make it on over some of these people um i did hear that uh apparently because of the backlash of the last couple of seasons that Tori's not going to do the next main one. Um, like, she's choosing not she did, to? Or yeah, casting's yeah. like, no, you've been on too many seasons think, and I people have problems saying, with like, it? I she's saying, like, I'm not going to do it. But, uh, I mean, she did win. But also, like, some people have had issues with some of the stuff she's done. So Also, mm-hmm. she's been on, like, nine seasons in a row. So yeah, you got to take breaks. Um. Anyway, uh, who smashed some heads in this episode? John A. First draft picked, uh, yeah. and then goes on to win the daily. Yeah, I'll, that's I'll, a big deal. I'll, I'll give her the same thing because it's like, even though I've I've seen everything she's accomplished because I've watched all the older seasons and I've but I've definitely seen her turn it around. There's still something in me. They're like, God, John A's going number one overall. I was like, that's that's tough. It's tough for me to fathom. She Even though I, I get I get that the resume is there now. She's got mom strength. It she, changes. I don't. Me. I don't even think it's. I think more than anything, she's a different person. No, I think she's got momentum behind her, and like, she came in 
kind of out of shape for All Stars one. She had just had a baby, and then like did pretty well, and like made it to the final, tied with Kellyanne for, and then like between each All Star season has gotten in better and better shape. And, yeah, she looks great this and, season like, too. She just is like, it's like when you you in like basketball or whatever, somebody's hot, like you keep giving them the ball, and like she's just like. They she's keep giving found, her the ball. She's found a groove, and she's killing it. I think a lot of it, too, is she came back for All-Stars 1 just to see. Ma- uh, like, if like, I'm being honest, I'm surprised she was even called for All-Stars 1 because she was not worthy of... <sighs> hold on. Let, let me finish the thought. Good Lord. Oh, God. Her resume in the challenge was not worthy of All-Star level. and Because um, she, she had not done anything. Well, it... I almost said something else. It's also that it was the first filming of this whole concept, and nobody knew how it was going to go. Nobody knew how popular it was going to be. Yeah. Um. I but mean, I it, it was kind of like a trial. She was run. not on the top of the call sheet. She was. It was probably a trial run that season. Um. And th- because of that, there may have been a lot of people that declined. Yeah. And I, again, I think it was like, oh, we need to round out this cast. Like, we're down to like the last two or three spots and, and they they probably called her yeah. because like hey she did enough seasons that people would say oh john I a i, want, I yeah, remember yeah. her but the thing is like she i think she got the call and said yes because she had settled down had kids and was like you know what let's just let's just see what it's like one one more go around and then she did so well i think one she surprised herself but two yeah. i think just that performance on that season alone gave her the confidence to come back for season two and productions like, Oh my gosh, what a turnaround. Let's see if she can, let's see if it, if it was like a fluke or, yeah, yeah. or and if, she if she's really good now. And then she won. Well, and that, and that's, that's one of the other things that I didn't even, I didn't even put together is like with the whole Nelson thing is like MJ should have been here more than Nelson. MJ's won a few times. Mm-hmm. And now I do think he was dealing with some knee like recovery issues. Uh f- like he he had a messed up knee and was having to, to get that fixed, but um anyway, there's the casting's a whole other thing. Uh for who who got their head smashed? Um Kellyanne haunted by paranoia. Yeah, I I I don't I don't see how you give it to anyone else like even though Huhui and Nelson lost, you kind of be like, yeah, I I get that. That makes yeah. sense like uh I totally understand that one, um, but uh, yeah, I, it's just Kellyanne is just like, and it's not even just the viewers; it's like the people in the house with her were like, "Hey, calm down!" Like, yeah, good lords. I mean, everybody. Yeah, bananas was like, I haven't even talked to my partner. Like, you've talked to me more about this than I have with her. I don't know what we're doing. Like, let's give me a break. And she's like, "I am giving you a break. What are you talking about?" And uh, yeah, I think that's that's got to be for this episode. I don't know what else you could pick. Um, so, uh, anyway, going forward, uh, hopefully cause there'll be only one episode and, uh, you know, it will also be, you know, an hour ish to be able to do it. Hopefully we'll be able to watch these Wednesday evening and record Wednesday evening. It's just with the two and a half times the amount of stuff to do. And then yeah. just weird coverage week. We had to push it for a little bit. And so, uh, we'll be back with you in a couple days for episode three. And according to IMDB, cause I looked it up. It is only one episode per week going forward. Um, and I, it doesn't say how many total episodes. They just have, like, the next three available. It's like... You want to take a guess? How many? T- I don't even know how many teams there are. Let me look real quick. Uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are 14 teams. <laughs> you probably need four or five teams for a final... And they'll probably make the final two parts. Yeah. They've gotten to where they do that now. And so you're going to, we already had an, ep- it's, that's, that's, it's hard to guess because we just had an episode, no elimination. And so. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess 13 gonna, episodes. I was going to guess 12. I'll say 13. Um, But it wouldn't surprise me if it's like 15 or something yeah. Um, going forward. But I do think this has potential to be better than the last couple of main shows. I don't know if it's going to be really? all-stars level good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, like, there's a debate in our, like, Slack group about it today, but um, everyone's on board with this season. And the other thing is, like, compared to 
other seasons, like everyone here has already competed and wants to win and wants to win money. Like yeah. it's not like, oh, I'm just here because my publicist set up this thing with a casting agent. And they're not here to gain followers on Instagram. Well, and they might be, but 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 it's not. Oh, I agreed to do this show to, to be on TV for the exposure, yeah. so that I can gain my Instagram following and TikTok, and then I can just do sponsored ads for income. Yeah. So these are all people who want to be here. These are all, for the most part, some of the best of the best that have ever done it. Not not everybody. Like we're missing some pretty big names, mm-hmm. but those are all for other reasons and. I think it's going to end up being. Pro- I, I I will say I think it will end up being better than potentially the last five seasons or so, but that's if everything stays the way it goes. Where you go right into elimination if you lose, you have incentives where you have to win or compete, and then uh, as long as there's no like weird like spins later on where it's like oh. Uh, just kidding. Now the teams are going to all be jumbled up and you're back to your countries again. Like, don't do any crap like yeah. that. Um, go just keep it the way it is. Keep it in pairs and keep it competitive. And, you know, we'll kind of see how it goes from there. Because this has got to be good because they kind of messed up the spin off versions of these pretty bad to where they didn't even have faith enough to, like, air them correctly. And so. Uh, I mean, that tells you something. Yeah, we'll see what it is going forward. But I'll be back with you in a couple days. And until then, stay cute.